Hey there challengers, happy Monday. I know that this look is not the best one for me to give off by welcoming you to this group, but hey, I figured I'd be real. I just finished Insanity a little bit ago and I haven't had time um, to get ready yet and I'm in a hurry. So I'm gonna make this video for you guys to welcome you all to the group. So I'm really, really excited about um, having this new group we really have been looking for a long time on ways of how we can make this the best accountability and support group for you guys possible with the best content. We want you guys to come in here and feel like super excited. I can't even talk. I'm trying to say excited and motivated at the same time. We want you guys to feel super excited and motivated and just be to the point where like you can't wait to come in and check in in the group, share with your group what you're doing and all of those things. So... I'm excited for this new fresh start. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I actually kind of wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my weekend and what I learned at a personal development workshop that I went to because I feel like it's very apl applicable to all areas of your life, especially your health and fitness. Um, one of the big takeaways that I got from this workshop, um, oh, and let me mention, the workshop, it was with um, Todd Midget, who is an elite beach body coach, Monica Ward, um, who was one of the founding coaches, her husband Dave Ward, and then this guy Dave Ferguson, who's like a life coach that lives here in Charlotte, but he actually works directly with John Maxwell. So the training was awesome. It was a three-hour training on Saturday. Um, Amy was here. Her and her family came this weekend, so they got to go with me. And one of my other friends, he came with us. And we really just learned a lot. I think we all took away different things from it. But the one thing that I took away from it that I kind of wanted to share with you guys was um, the things that I know that I need to work on improving in my life. And I really feel like this will apply to this group because... Um, this is one of the areas that I'm struggling currently, so I figured I would share it with you guys. Um, so the thing that I realized is, number one, I need to work on having a life of balance. I have always been the person that will work, 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 work myself to death <laughs> ever since I was literally like 16 years old. And, you know, it's been six months since I quit my full-time job, and you would think that, you know, yes, I have all this time now. But honestly, I either operate one of, one of two ways. I am working, 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 working. I'm so busy. I'm working on new projects. I'm doing all this. I'm doing all that. I'm staying busy literally from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. Um, and then I go through a few weeks of that, and then I crash. And then I have a week where, you know, I will still force myself to do the things I need to do. But I don't think I'm necessarily doing it at my best effort. So that was one thing that I learned that a takeaway was having balance. And another thing was um, belief, belief in myself. I um, I think you guys probably have read my blog posts and my posts on Facebook about like gaining weight and the scale going up, you know, from lifting weights and whatever. I'm still convinced that not all of it's muscle. I'm still convinced that I did gain some fat. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, like I realized that I was being my own worst critic. Like I was looking in the mirror and I'm like, gosh, Jessica, like, you look gross, like, ew, there's a piece of cellulite there on your leg, like, you're so fat, that's disgusting, like, look at you, you're doing insanity and you still look like this and whatever, and then when I first moved, I was emotional and I was having struggles with, like, my eating and I was, like, binging on the weekends, it was bad. So I'm finally back at, like, a good, healthy place, again, with food, and that was by applying balance to my life, but... Excuse me. I still continue. I really need some water. Excuse me. Gamecocks. Any other Gamecocks fans out there? <laughs> um, anyway, I go all over the place when I make videos. So for sake of time, I will keep talking. But belief. I am my own worst critic. Like I tell myself, like I think I still see myself as a 200 pound person that I used to be. And I realized like I cannot do that anymore. Like I need to talk positively to myself. I, like this morning I looked in the mirror and I'm like okay instead of telling myself Jessica like you're not fit enough or you're not skinny enough I told myself wow you know you've came a really long way like you did used to weigh 200 pounds so I'm gonna start talking more positively to myself every day and I'm gonna start telling myself like I will be in the best shape of my life I will do this 
I am going to do this no matter what. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys today was those two things is number one, work on having balance in your life. In order to be in the best shape of your life, you do not have to work out four hours a day. You do not have to eat a plain, boring diet. Have a balance. We have these awesome beach body workouts for us. They save us a lot of time. So we have those. We have the nutrition plans that come with them that we need. Follow those nutrition plans. They're there for a reason. They have awesome recipes. That's all you need. Have that balance in your life. Make sure that you're not working yourself to death. You know, the whole thing about health and fitness is not just having balance in one area of your life or being healthy in one area of your life. It's really being healthy in all areas of your life. Your relationship, your finances, your relationship with God, your business, your family, you know, your health and fitness, all of those things. They all have to be balanced in order for you to be like the healthiest, fittest person that you can be because they all affect one another. And the second takeaway for you guys today is belief. You have to believe in yourself. Tell yourself positive things. Speak positivity into your life because if you focus on the negative things, then that's what's going to come true. Like if you focus on the positive things, then that's what's going to come true. Whatever you focus on will be what happens and what you are focusing on on a daily basis. So tell yourself positive things. Believe in yourself because you are awesome. I hope you guys have a great Monday. Thanks for bearing with me with this look and with me rambling. Um, I'm excited to get to know you guys more in this group, and I hope you have a great day.